Hi guys, how are you all doing? I'm so happy. I'm really excited today because I'm at the Lake District. This place is absolutely incredible. Now I've been planning to come down here um, for the last month and I planned everything out perfect. I booked in the dates. My wife is up in Norfolk seeing her sister and yeah, everything's perfect. And then a week before I'm due to arrive, disaster strikes. So a couple of you might know this. I had an accident in which nearly half a ton of weight fell on my knee. I feel like I should cue the violins. Hmm. I was rushed to hospital um, and I thought I'd crush my kneecap, I honestly did. The good news is I didn't crush my kneecap, I've actually damaged my ligaments. Um, but the hospital, or should I say the doctor, specifically said these words to me, stay off your leg. Now when you've got a trip planned to the Lake District, it's impossible to stay off your leg. <laughs> Literally impossible. So I've had to completely change, completely change my whole plan for being in the Lake District. It went from going up lovely, beautiful fowls and, and looking across them and taking photos, so like the Great Gable, for instance. Uh, and now I know I can't do that. So I've had to find all these places dotted around with car parks right next to them. So if you're a photographer and you're out this uh, weekend in the Lake District, if you see a guy hobbling around, that's me. Come and say hello. So yeah, a bit disappointing, but I'm not really concerned. And the reason I'm not really concerned is because with limitation, you have to use your imagination. It sounds deep, doesn't it? But it's true. And I've had to use my imagination to ensure I get the most out of this visit to the Lake District. Now today, my very first day in the Lake District, um, I've come to a place called Ashness Bridge. I watched an E6 vlog, so I believe it's E6. Uh, I apologize if it's not, and I got the name wrong. Um, I watched one of his vlogs when he came to visit Derwent Water, and that was my first venue that I planned on coming to photograph. And he apparently said that you should come to Ashness Bridge first. He's not wrong, it's absolutely stunning. The weather's not though. I've looked at a lot of different photographs on Instagram of Ashford's Bridge. It's very popular with a lot of photographers. I know that because there's already been about four photographers arrive here today. So it's a bit of jostling for spots. Luckily I got here first, I got the best one. But you know everyone's entitled to a spot, uh, but it's difficult sometimes, you guys will know this. But yeah, I know that the whole focus of the iconic shot of Ashless Bridge is the peaks in the distance. They look incredible when you can see them, and I can't really see them today. So I'm really hoping that they kind of make themselves visible um, and I can get a photo of Ashless Bridge, this iconic shot, and then, yeah, that one in the bag will make me feel so incredibly happy. I went to Snowdonia. Snowdonia is a wonderful place to go take photos. I'm sure quite a few of you have been. But the problem was, the weather conditions were terrible. Now I knew this before I went, but I still went ahead. And it's starting to feel a little bit like that today. I knew the weather conditions weren't going to be good. I did speak to a photographer who was here earlier called Alan Taylor. My name's Ben Taylor, as you know, so brother from another mother maybe, I don't know. But uh, he did tell me that earlier on in the day there was some really good light which hit the peak and I did experience that as I was driving here. Uh, but when I arrived here the good light had gone and now I'm left with dark ominous clouds. So I've been here about four hours, maybe a little bit longer and I still haven't got that light. We're about 25 minutes away from sunset so it's not looking promising. Fortunately though, this is day one, so there is two more days in the bag to potentially get some great photos. So I'm not too worried, just a little bit disappointed maybe. 
just as I thought all was lost, I turned around to see that the clouds had cleared and the peaks had appeared. I rushed to the river's edge to set up my camera equipment. I used this square crop to capture the flow of the river and the leading line taking you down to the bridge and the peaks in the distance. To remove some of the glare from the image, I used my polarizer. With my settings all dialed in place, I used my shutter release to capture the photo. Even though the conditions were not perfect, I was over the moon to have captured this iconic photo from this beautiful place. I want to thank you all for watching my first short vlog on this trip to the Lake District. In day two, I'll be checking out Wast Water, which I've been told is incredible. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you all next time.